So, earlier this week, I found this really cool picture. In it, we can see Hall of Famers Tetsuharu Kawakami, Aiji Sawamura, Victor Starfin, Katsumi Shiraishi, and Shigeru Chiba messing around before a game. So, sensing an opportunity to teach people about this era of Japanese baseball, I posted it on the baseball subreddit. As I was looking up their stats for the 1939 season, which I thought this image might be from, although looking at it now it was probably from 1940, a name immediately jumped out at me, Arellano Rivera. Right then I knew I just had to figure out who this guy was. Arellano Rivera was born in Manila in what was then the Philippine Territory in 1910. We know next to nothing about his early life, only that somewhere along the line he became a customs officer at the Port of Manila and played baseball for the company team. In the spring of 1939, the Tokyo Giants came down to Manila to play a few exhibition games against local teams at Rizal Memorial Baseball Stadium. There, Rivera is said to have been the lone member of his team that was able to get a hit off Giants pitcher Victor Starfin, and Giants manager Sadayoshi Fujimoto came away impressed. The team approached Rivera after the game and asked if he'd like to play pro ball in Japan. Rivera agreed, and became the first Filipino to play major pro baseball anywhere in the world. Rivera played remarkably well for a guy who was fresh off the boat, hitting 268, 320, 409, and hitting six home runs, which was tied for the team lead. That may not sound like a lot, but this was Japanese baseball's dead ball era, and that was worth 131 WRC+. While he was there, he made an impression on the Giants' young first baseman, Tatsuharu Kawakami, who despite being the better hitter in nearly every aspect, still adjusted his swing and stance slightly to mimic Rivera's. Rivera is also credited with the first Grand Slam in Giants history, which he hit off Masayoshi Nakayama of the Nogoya Dolphins on August 24th, 1939. But at the end of the season, he'd go back to the Philippines, citing rising tensions between Japan and the US. We don't hear from him again until January 30th, 1944, when Giants pitcher Shuichi Hirose was stationed in the Philippines during the occupation. Hirose had joined his regiment's baseball team, which played against other regiments stationed in the Philippines, as well as local Filipino teams. Hirose, who joined the Giants two years after Rivera had left, was shocked when his army friends pointed out that Arellano was another former Giant. Hirose and Rivera reportedly spent that night trading stories about their respective times with the team, which Hirose wrote down and sent back to his family in Japan. However, Hirose would be killed in action on September 13, 1944, during the Battle of Leyte. He was 22. From here, Rivera disappears again. But in 1967, word got out to one of his old teammates, Tatsuharu Kawakami, that two of Rivera's daughters were playing for the University of Manila's volleyball team, which had come to Tokyo for the Universiat, which is basically the Olympics for universities. Kawakami was reportedly very excited to meet them, seeing the fact that they were born in 1945 as evidence that their father had survived the war. However, when he met with them, he got the bad news. The girls had never met their father. He had died fighting against the Japanese on February 10th, 1945, during the Battle of Manila. He was 34. Six days after he died, one of the bloodiest engagements of the battle was fought at the very same baseball stadium where the Giants discovered Rivera six years prior. There wouldn't be another player of Filipino descent in Japanese pro baseball until 1972, when John Shippen signed with the Tayo Whales. And to this day, Rivera is the only Filipino-born player to suit up at the top level of Japanese professional baseball.